Hello and welcome back to bioinformatics series of videos of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In my last video, I have explained how to perform protein and HMM profile search using online web version of Hammer. In today's video tutorial, I will explain how to download and install Hammer on your local Windows computer for profile search and identification of homologous proteins from a protein database of your interest. The software is available only for Linux environment, but I will show you how to install and run it on Windows platform and how to install additional packages that will be required to run this software. I will try to cover everything so that you can do it by your own. So watch this tutorial till the end. First visit hammer.org and click on download the latest version. When I downloaded the version was 3.3.2. As this is star.gz, it means it will run on the Linux environment only. So we will need a Linux environment on Windows for operating the Hammer software. For this, we will need Sigwin. Visit the sigwin.com and download the exe file. Double click on the exe file to start the installation. Follow the recommended settings. During installation, a window will pop up that will ask to install additional packages that will be required for running the hammer. Click on view and select full. Make sure to change the selection to keep. You can use search bar to find the desired package. For hammer, we will need to install 7 different packages. So we will search and add all the 7 packages one by one. First search for CLISP. When you try to select it, you may not be able to do it. Use the arrow to drop down and choose a version first and then select it. Similarly search for other packages. Search for GCC-G++ GNU compiler collection. Search and select Make Package. Then search and select Ncurses Terminal Display Utilities. Search and choose Open SSH Server and Client Programs. Search for Python 3. The last package that we will need will be Vim Minimal VI Text Editor. After selecting all the packages, you can click Pending to view if all the 7 packages are selected. Make sure the Keep option on the right is also selected. Click Next to continue installation. It may take a few minutes. Finish the installation. You can now see the Sigwin terminal icon. Go back to the download location where you have downloaded Hammer file. Copy it to Sigwin folder as I am mentioning.
after copying hammer to sigwin right click on the sigwin and run as administrator type ls and hit enter to see if hammer zip file is visible type this command to extract the hammer folder from the zipped file Type ls and hit enter. Now you can see unzipped hammer folder. Type cd space folder name to change the directory to it. Type ls to see files within hammer. Next type dot slash configure. After the configure is over, type make command to build hammer. It will take a while. You can also perform make check which is a kind of self test but this is not necessary. Next you need a protein alignment file. This is required for HMM profile creation for HMM search later. For this I have a set of 13 Arabidopsis proteins belonging to ACC family. I copy them all and perform multiple sequence alignment using cluster omega. Just remember to choose output format to Stockholm. Just as I have mentioned in my previous video on the web version of Hammer. Here are the alignment results. You have to download the alignment. Select the entire text and copy it to a new text file. Make sure to rename and change the file extension to .sto format. The next step is to build HMM profile using the protein alignment file you just created. For this, you need to copy the protein alignment file to the MR as shown here. In Sigwin terminal, type HMM build followed by the output HMM profile name with .HMM extension followed by protein alignment file name with .STU extension and hit enter. Here is the summary of HMM profile built. The same file can be seen in the HMM folder. Next and the final step is to perform HMM search to find out homologous proteins in the target protein database based on the HMM profile we just created. This is the whole rice proteome or protein database that I will use. You can use any set of proteins or proteome as your target. You have to copy this database file in the HMM folder where we will be having our HMM file also. You can see here that we have both the files, the HMM file and the protein database file.
Type HMM search dash H to find out how to use the HMM search command. So we will use the command HMM search followed by HMM file name followed by protein database file name followed by this we will use this greater than symbol followed by output file name you can see that the result file has been generated when we open the result file we can see a list of hits obtained based on HMM profiles the first column has the E values of the hits which is very very important for us the E values are sorted in the descending order another important column for us is the sequence column that contains the target protein IDs from the protein database we used so based on the E values you can select the target proteins you can copy the selected hits from the file and copy it to Excel as I am showing here It can be used for showing your results as supplementary table if needed for publication. You can also sort it or filter it based on e-values using Excel tools. So that's all for the today's video. If you find the video useful, do share it with others. Comment below for your specific request and suggestions. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to stay informed about my latest uploads. You can check out my playlist on bioinformatics, research, publishing, techniques, markers, plant tissue culture and others. Thanks and hope to see you in my next video.